Time to give you an update of the RGB shades. In this video I'll be showing you the new Android app as well as a new module I designed for the Arduino. Also, make sure to like my Facebook to stay updated and please consider supporting me on Patreon as well. It will ensure that I keep on making these kind of videos. This video was made using the following service, Easy EDA and Easier EDA Experience. Try it out yourself at easyeda.com. So of course it wouldn't be one of my projects if uh, everything went well. Uh, so as you can see I try uploading my uh, first animation to the Arduino Nano and I figured out that it doesn't work the way I want it because it turns out that the Arduino Nano only can uh, store around six to seven frames as an animation because it just simply doesn't have enough memory. So as you can see it has around two kilobytes of memory so we need something to fix that since we do want more than six or seven frames. So the way I want to fix that is by using this microchip that allows me to have 1 MB of memory and it operates at around 2.5 to 5.5 volts which is ideal for this situation. Now I've created a PCB using the Easy EDA software uh, because it's convenient and because it's such a small PCB it would be useful to have a high quality PCB so yeah that's why I use the service. Now let me just fast forward this for you guys and uh, you can skip if you want but I highly recommend you guys to fork my project and order it because it's a fairly handy PCB if you want to uh, create these RGB shades yourself. So feel free to check out the link in the description and download this PCB. Alright, now off to the Android app. This one has been created by a good friend of mine, so big shout out to him for this amazing app. So as you can see, you can select the color and just start drawing. Uh, it's a bit slow because it works on Bluetooth and my phone is getting a little bit old, so bear with me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just drawing some random lines and cubes around on the screen. As you can see, it has brightness control as well. So it works fairly well as you can see. So we can also load in a image. So let me just load in this RetroPie image. Uh, never mind, it's all blue. Let me load in another image, this one, uh, the RGB image. So as you can see, it's fairly quick now. We can also load in GIFs. So there we go. Of course, the frame rate is a lot lower on the uh, actual RGB glasses because um, because of the Bluetooth send time. Uh, 
So you can see I paused it. You can also create text. Uh, you can click generate text. First you select the color of course and then the best is to uh, write it all in capitals. So as you can see I'm uh, writing down testing. I click OK and I want to add another row of text but you know what let me just do this in another color. So we're gonna use green for this one. As you can see select generate text and we're gonna write subscribe it's a bit hard to type like this. <laughs> um, all right, there we go. Now we can click on gen or create animation. We can set the delay, so I set it to 200 ms. Add all frames, apply, and as you can see, it starts um, running over the screen. Uh, sorry, my phone and camera are a bit laggy because of uh, me recording the screen as well. But as you can see, it's working. Uh, it says subscribe and testing both in a different color so that's fairly awesome so thank you Yano for making this app and um, yeah the app will be available in the download link in the description so I hope you all enjoyed this quick little update video and I will see you all in the next video bye